Hey everybody, what's up? Allison here. Um, today I went to the Wani County Fair. Um, it's been so long since I've been to the Wani County Fair. <sighs> so much has changed. Oh man, so much. I didn't go for the rides though. It's too expensive for that now. Like, when I used to go there, it was, you pay for a bracelet. Now I guess they do tickets, like they've done that for a while. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, we, my twin and my other two sisters, we actually decided to go and even though I was saving money for this bit of Halloween yeah I was pretty surprised that I didn't spend as much yeah but it's a very good thing I went anyway I got two very interesting books they look interesting, and the description looks interesting, and the author himself, hmm. yeah, judging by him, yeah, seems interesting, yeah, the writing, I'm pretty sure the book would seem very interesting as well, plus he is super nice, he is super nice as well, um, yeah, at first the counter, um, yes, he was busy with someone else, and I was standing there looking, reading the description of this, and then reading the, about the author. I'm like, okay, let me get it. Because, well, why not? It's, but, it's a book. It's, um, well, obviously, big. It's not big like it. <laughs> I'm still stuck on that. Some of you guys who, well, been following me for quite a while, or some of you who just know me in general, know that for me, every time I get lost in a big book, I end up just read, reading the same chapter all over again. So pretty much in Stephen King's It, I'm still stuck on chapter 3 because every time I forget where I am, I end up rereading it. <laughs> and chapter 3 is a very long chapter. It's intense. It's intense, but it's long. Um, and plus, the fact that this is like two, like this is the first book, this is the second book. The um shiny little things book two, so I'm like, okay, come back for the second one. So instead of you know getting one and be like, oh, I knew I should have got the second one. Well anyway, um, the description. Okay, first off, it's called Shiny Little Things by Frank Stengel. I met the guy, like I said, he is very nice. And, um, the um, description about the book, um, it says, Skeeter, Skeeter and Rusty, two teenage boys who are thick as thieves, Make a life changing discovery while playing one night. Neither are ready for what happens next, and along with their close friend Alexandra. Ah, oh, jeez. That must be a very popular name for stories. I use that name in most of my stories. And I hear that name in a lot of TV plots, like The Walking Dead. Anyway, um, 
Neither are ready for what happens next, and along with their close friend Alexandra, um, they spend the next day trying to save themselves, their town, and maybe even the entire world. <coughs> the three kids embark on an adventure of a lifetime and need to face down a unrelenting foe. They try their best to solve this problem, but every, but every course of action they take seems hopeless. Every step forward seemed like two steps back until they get some help from an unlikely source. Around every turn, the group is forced into life or death situations. They do learn something about themselves along the way. <coughs> Sorry. They, they do learn something about themselves along the way. They learn how a little inner strength, determination, and friendship can prevail over all circumstances. And no matter how hard things seem to be at times, never give up. The future is never preset for anyone, especially for the kids. It may not end up how they planned. Hmm. Okay, so, hmm, Skeeter and Rusty. <laughs> hmm. Two teenager boys who are thick as thieves. Hmm. That's funny. I wonder how, um, thick and mischievous they are. Hmm. And what kind of life changing discovery, um, will curl while playing that night or what kind of fooling around they do that night mm. and their close friend Alexandra mm. wonder if it's a boy Alexandra or a girl Alexandra me I use Alexandra as a girl's name So who knows? And and in The Walking Dead, they used Alexandra as a place. So that name can be a person, either he or she, or a place. So who knows? I bet Skeeter and Rusty are guys because it obviously says it right there. Two teenager boys. So. Alexandra? Who knows? And then they spend the next day trying to save themselves, their town, and maybe even the entire world. So, mm, mm, themselves? Wow. Obviously, there's a lot of life or death situations, like it says down here at the bottom. Their town, and maybe even the entire world. So, something big must be going on. The three kids embark on an adventure of a lifetime and need to face down a unrelenting uh, foe. Hmm. I wonder what kind of foe. Hmm. And face down. Hmm. Who knows, because the picture is like an angel and it's a statue, so I don't know. It could be like a foe related to like mythology or Greek mythology hmm. or foes that you see in like sci-fi or cartoon or anime hmm. I don't know see they try their best to solve this problem but every course of action they take seems hopeless every step forward seemed like two steps back until they get some help from an unlikely source 
unlikely. Maybe it's a person that they don't like but has the source that they need. Hmm. Around every turn, the group is forced into life or death situations. They do, they do learn something about themselves along the way. They learn how a little inner strength, determination, and friendship can prevail over all circumstances. And no matter how hard things get, uh, things seem to be at times never give up. <laughs> huh. They do learn something about themselves along the way. Hmm. I wonder if they're hiding secrets from each other. Or... Hmm. Maybe they don't know everything about each other. Because it says Skeeter and Rusty, two teenager boys who are thick as thieves, make a life-changing discovery while playing one night. And then, the next sentence is, Neither are ready for what happens next, and along with their close friend, Alexandra, they spend the next day trying to save themselves, their town, and maybe the entire world. I'm gonna assume that Skeeter and Rusty are best friends, Alexandra is just a friend, but maybe they're still hiding things from each other. Or maybe they have insecurities about themselves that causes these constant life or death situations to um, discover their, their inner insecurities or causes the possible secrets they may have to be revealed and the future is never present for anyone especially for the kids it may not end up how they planned that's true the future is never preset hmm maybe someone is trying Ryan to say that the future was already set for them. Cause let's see, where is it? A need to face down a unrelenting foe. So maybe this foe is claiming that their future is already set, or they each have issues that makes them feel like their future is already set and it may not end up how they planned mm. who knows sounds curious okay the author come on come on black pages About the author, Francis Frankie Stengel, comes from a large family and being a storyteller to his over 30 nephews and nieces, wow, has finally decided to put his words down in print to share them with the world. He writes his books from the same house he was born in. He spent his youth playing in the neighborhood stream. Biking and having fun with his friends, he eats way too much chocolate. <laughs> I like dark chocolate, but don't tell his wife. <laughs> don't worry. And he loves to stare up at the night sky with her. He lets his mind wonder about the universe and the secrets that the stars Nubilis and distant galaxy told. When he grows up, he wants to be an astronaut. Cool. Some strange coincidences have happened to him in his life 
and many have found their way into this book. He knows that someone has been looking over him, protecting him in some way, and someday he will be able to thank them. Frank believes that every child needs to grab a hold of a dream and hold on to it until they make it come true, and that every adult has the responsibility to make sure that happens. Shiny Little Things is his debut novel. What does debut mean? Hmm. No idea. <laughs> I guess I'll start reading this one first. And then curiosity for this one. Which this the first line before the description. It says this the exciting second book in the Shiny Little Thing series. Series? I'm gonna guess that's the foe. It's creepy, but at the same time... Okay, half of us shows that she's pretty. The second half, creepy. Damn, it's also interesting. I can see where his personality lies. Um, the stars. Oh yeah, I forgot to show what he wrote. Um, well first off, he's put his name here, and the day he signed, which is a good thing. <laughs> Thank you very much for doing that. Um, uh, cause of my epilepsy, so very short. <laughs> and yeah, that's why, yeah. Thank you for the photo too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here it is. To Allison, it was my pleasure meeting you. I hope you like my story as much as I did writing it for you. Thank you, Frank. Hey, just let you know my grandfather's name is Frank. And don't be surprised if he gets confused. <laughs> he is in his 80s. And just before I stop the video, I want to also, um, read what he wrote in this one. To Allison, I hope you like the story as much as the first one. Please remember to always free your inner light work. Be the change you want to see in the world. Thank you, Frank. <laughs> I'll do my best. Now, as I promised Frank, I am going to read these. And I am going to show it. Basically, I'm going to share my opinion to all of you. And also share my opinion to him, of course. <laughs> Just don't expect me to be fast, guys. You all know the, how I am. Oh, what's this? To the memory of my mom, who taught me to read. Elizabeth Sarah O'Connell. Oh, O'Connell. It's Tango. And my pops, who inspired me to be the best person I could be. World World II veteran. Sergeant Peter H. Tangle. Tangle. Stangle. Stangle. Eh. Sorry about that. Eh. What honors to you? What honor to you? Well, memory to you, um, Frank's mom, and yes, honor to you, um, Banner and Sergeant Peter. It seems you two were great inspirations to your son Frank. Oh, and I see something on here too. What is it? Oh! Book 3 coming soon. Shiny little things. She plays in the darkness. What? Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's this. It just says book three coming soon. Oh, so basically this is a series. So if you guys are interested in these books, um, let's see. Ah, oh, I know what page it was. Where is it? Okay, come support him and follow on his Facebook, Frank Tangle, Facebook group, Shiny Little Things on Novel, Instagram, Frank Tangle, Stangle, Stangle, Tangle, sorry if I keep messing that up, and Twitter at Frank Stangle, website www.frankstangle.com, I'm pretty sure that's where you get the books, I need to check that out. And email frank at frankstangle.com. My point is support him by following him on his Facebook group, Instagram, Twitter, website. Obviously, he has the same name. Just like I have the same name for my stuff. Oops. Which is Butterfly Nova. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go read this one out. Bye, guys. And let's hope he reaches 400 books tonight. When I was saying bye to him, he has 390. So, yep. Good luck, man. Bye, everyone. Have a good night.